Hello, my old school soul food family, Chef Jeffrey, back with another video. All right, y'all, it is Sunday for y'all. Saturday, late Saturday evening for me. This is my Sunday afternoon, or Sunday morning, or Sunday dinner recipe ideas. Something quick to this. I'm going traditional this Sunday, y'all. Very traditional. I'm doing old school pot roast. I don't know how many of us grew up and uh, eating pot roast on a Sunday after uh, church. Come home, got a big bottle of pot roast, mashed potatoes, maybe some veggies there. This tradition, I think, all over the country. Not only in the uh, in the South here, I think it's all over the country. So what I'm doing, y'all, got a little salt and pepper on there, nothing fancy. And I'm gonna sear this big old piece of meat. I'm going to tell y'all what happened just then. I almost had to go to the hospital just then. Y'all know I cook with no shoes on. And I'm very careful when I cook with no shoes on. I know I ain't got no shoes on. When I just put this meat, let me show you here. All right. Show you I'm cooking this meat here. And I had some oil already in the pot. I already heating up to sear it off. And when I put the meat in there, the, some of the oil flopped out. And thank God for my quickness. I moved out of the way just in time for that hot oil to hit my feet. It's happened once or twice before, but yeah, it's been a while. So yeah, that's what the thing you get when you when you cook in your bare feet. Yeah, but anyway, I'm gonna sear this off. What I want to do, I'm gonna get this seared off, and uh, I'm gonna get it sear all the juices in, inside. And uh, I don't know why I cut it off. Once I get a nice color on them, on this meat, I'm going to take it out and I'm going to uh, put my veggies in here. I'm going to get a good seal on my veggies, get them all seared off, put a little flour in here, kind of get them all coated up, put me some uh, tomato paste in there, get that all coated up, hit it with some beef stock, fill it up, put the veggie back inside, put it in the oven by two hours. This is so simple, y'all. So simple and easy, and just amazing goodness. You got that nice natural gravy as it's gonna make as it's cooking in the oven. You got your vegetables already cooked. All you need is some white rice and some mashed potatoes, and you got one awesome meal. So we'll be right back, y'all. All right, y'all, we back here. Okay, all right, I got that nice sear on the meat here. I'm gonna get it out here without flopping it. Grease on my. Put a little bit more oil in there. Y'all, I am being clumsy today. I guess because I'm excited about this pot roast, huh? So I'm going to kill myself in here trying to cook some pot roast. Okay, we got our oil, residual oil heating up. And what I want to do, I want to caramelize my carrots and my celery. I want to get a nice caramelization on these, y'all, before I add my uh, tomato paste. And I'm also going to add potatoes to this and pearl onions. But I'm gonna get, I am want a nice caramelization on these because I like to bring out the kind of sweetness of the carrots. Y'all know I ain't a big celery fan, but I think it works well in pot roast. Okay, I'm going to season the, uh, I know I season in flavors here. I season the vegetables too. I'll season everything as I go, y'all. Put a little salt and pepper in here. Alrighty. This here, vegetable carrots and celery doesn't smell too bad when it's cooking. So it's a nice meal, easy meal. You can actually you yeah, can do this in your crock pot too. You see your vegetables all put in your crock pot and set it the night before you go to sleep. You can smell all that goodness all night long while you're sleeping. Wake up the next day, your pot roast is ready. But I'm going to do this in, in traditionally in the oven. You can also do it in the instant pot. Probably takes you about an hour in the instant pot to do it in the instant pot. But it takes about two hours, depending on how tough this meat is. Every, every beef is different. Like I tell people, every color beef is different. So, uh, 
It should take two, sometimes it take me two and a half hours. Depending on the thickness and the type of beef it is. Okay, now. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put some tomato paste in here. The tomato paste is gonna be actually a thickener and it's gonna give this some distinct flavor that I like in my pot roast. You don't have to do this. It's gonna make it redder than normal, than your normal pot roast will be. But I love the tomato paste. I love the flavor it gives it, the natural thickness it gives it. But some people don't like that. So it's all your preference. So I'm gonna move this tomato paste around. Now I'm done shot, y'all. I'm scared this stuff gonna splash on my foot for real. <laughs> so if I don't if I don't upload the video tomorrow, y'all know I'll be in the hospital with a with a burn up foot seized with some grease here, y'all. Okay, let's get that all uh sizzling off there. We're gonna get us a little flour to go in here. That's gonna make the natural gravy here. Here. Now I can put roux in this too, y'all. You can do that. Which I keep roux, y'all know I keep roux in my refrigerator. But I prefer to do it like this. I'm going to cook this up just a little, get that flour taste out of here. Then we're going to add our beef stock. And then when the beef stock is got enough beef stock, we're going to add water to kind of kind of fill it up. It's going to be a nice thick gravy here, y'all. Like I say, this is going to make it redder than some people. But I like that nice, rich flavor. Put a little water in here. I already know how much it's going to take. Oh yeah, look at that. And that's it. That is it. Now, now I'm gonna put a little Worcestershire. Y'all know I love my Worcestershire sauce, aka American soy sauce. That's all Worcestershire is, soy sauce anyway. You don't have Worcestershire sauce in your house. When you got soy sauce, it all works the same. It's all the same thing. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. I'm going to add a couple of bay leaves to this. And we're going to try to find them bay leaves when this is finished. It's always a challenge. I find the two bay leaves that I put in. Make sure you count how many you put in there. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit more salt and pepper to this. Season, 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 y'all. Get the salt and pepper. Make sure it's fully incorporated. Well, this is your base for your pot roast, y'all. Oh, yeah. Now, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add my uh, pearl onions to this. Let them move around in there. Look at nice pearl onions. Now, I'm going to put the meat, and I'm going to put the potatoes on top of the meat, because the potatoes, I don't want them to cook too quickly. So I'm going to submerge the meat down in there. Look at that. And I'll put my potatoes pretty much on top, because I don't want them to cook too fast, even though they are going to cook. But, now, that's it. We're going to cover this up, y'all. See how easy this is. This is the easiest Sunday dish you can hear, all in one pot. Like I said, I'm going to get you mashed potatoes on the side with some pot roast and gravy. Shoot, that's all you need. You got your vegetables already in there. You got your, really, you don't need no mashed potatoes. You got potatoes in there already, but just to bring it up another level, you put you some, uh, you can get some mashed potatoes and white rice. So anyway, I'm going to put it in the oven, y'all. And this is going to cook for two, two and a half hours. This liquid going to cook now. It's going to thicken. You're going to have a nice, rich, flavorful gravy and a tender, tender pot roast. So anyway, we'll be right back in about two and a half hours. I'll show the finished product. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. 
Just took this out the oven. It took two and a half hours. And this is what we have here, y'all. Look at that tender, look at that tender uh, pot roast. Potatoes are perfectly cooked. That nice, look at that gravy. Ooh, there's a bay leaf. Found the bay leaf. There's another one in here somewhere. I'll find it here in a second once I plate this up. But uh, look at that. See that nice natural gravy? That's why I like that tomato paste. Some pot roast people make, they make the pot roast and then they pour off the liquid and then they make the gravy later. I do all mine at one, one pot thing there. Like I say, y'all, all you need to use some white rice or some uh, some uh, mashed potatoes, and you got your full Sunday dinner right here. So I'm gonna step off. I'm gonna put this in my platter, pull a gravy on top of it. We're gonna come back and we're gonna try this out, see how it tastes. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back here. I got my hot roast right here. I'm just going to eat a little of this, y'all, because y'all know this is my this is my dinner tomorrow after I get out of church. Give me a little potato on here. Pearl onion. Got me a carrot. Look at that. I'm just going to eat a little. Because I know if I start eating this stuff, put a little hot sauce on there, a little drop. If I start eating this stuff, I'll eat all this up. I'm going to give me some mashed potatoes tomorrow. I already have left in my fridge. Okay, see how tender this is. Pretty much cut it with a... Look at that. Look at this, y'all. Look at that tender, tender pot roll. Mmm. 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 It's so flavorful. Mmm. Potatoes. Soaked up that juice, the carrot so tender. Mm. Wow. Remember I seasoned the meat, I seasoned the vegetable, and then I seasoned the salt right before I covered it up for the oven. You don't need no salt and pepper for this. It's perfectly seasoned. Because I actually cooked it so much pearl onions. Nothing like pearl onion. Mmm. And pot roast, y'all. Or potato. I'll put that gravy. Mmm. It's good. All she wrote. But anyway, y'all. Another Sunday recipe menu idea in the books. Like I say, y'all can put this in a crock pot the night before. Put it on slow. Next morning, it's ready. You can just put it on hold if you go to church. If you don't go to church or however, put it on hold and uh, you can uh, eat it when you get back. Also, you put it in the instant pot. One hour, maybe an hour and ten minutes, it's ready. I just like that low and slow in the oven in my Dutch oven. It just smells amazing in this house. You can just smell the nice flavor and the it just it's in, it's indescribable uh, smell when you slow roasting the pot roast in the oven. So anyway, let me close this video like I close every video. Please follow my other social media accounts: Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest. And OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2021. Help somebody. Old School Soul Food. Uh, until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day. Y'all have a blessed Sunday. And I uh, hope y'all had a happy, safe weekend. And I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.